it's Tanya with Scribbles and Time. I want to do a quick flip through. Uh, I say quick. This is kind of a big, big book here. Um, but I wanted to do a flip through of my latest journal. Um, it does have tassels here on the side that flip up. As you can see, the, the full journal is done in little um, tattered pieces of fabric. Um, the front has a dragonfly on it. I'm calling this one Stitches of Nature. I, I do kind of seem to be stuck on nature right now. I just, I, I love all of the, I guess with spring coming up, I'm just in that nature mood right now. So anyway, I'm calling this Stitches of Nature. Obviously there's a lot of stitching on this book. Um, it's very ragged and tattered stitching. Um, I do have a few hand sewn beads and um, pearl looking beads, um, ribbon around the dragonfly. You can see that the stitching on the machine is done very haphazardly, just kind of random. Um, but it's done that way to hold all of the, the, the pieces of fabric down. Um, the tassels do kind of move around as you move the book. Oh, let me show you the measurements real quick. Do try to do things in order, Tanya. Let's see, it's about seven and a quarter inches by about, I guess that's probably about nine and a quarter inches. The spine, chunky, chunky. The spine is three, about three and a quarter inches. And as you can see on the spine, it's got the hidden, um, hidden, hidden signature stitching, but you can see the random sewing stitches and a little pearl looking bead and a button. Let's see if I can hold it up so you can see on the back. Kind of same scenario, just a bunch of strips of fabric and material with some buttons and little crystal looking um, beads. And that's pretty much it on the outside. Here's the top view. Um, you'll see as I go, I'll show you on the inside, but I did um, attach in some bookmarks, some ribbons for bookmarks. Um, as you can also see, it is a double spine. Um, you can kind of get stuff in between there if you wanted to. I mean, it's, it's definitely double spine. Both spines are covered with material. The inside spine's covered with a different material than, than the outer spine. So it's kind of cool looking in person. But there's the top, the side, chunky, chunky. Looks like me and my blue jeans, <laughs> bulging. And then the bottom. We're grilling out today, so we're probably going to hear my, my husband and son outside talking as they grill um, right outside the window of the room where I'm at and coming in and hollering for me to get tongs and whatnot. So we'll just have to go with the flow here. I wanted to get this video done. Um, it's got five signatures. I think you can see that better from the bottom. Five signatures. Um, the signatures, counting front and back pages, you're looking at around 240 pages. I think some of the pages are sewn together um, here and there, so it's not exact, but somewhere around 240 pages. There are some charms throughout. I'll try to remember to point those out as we go. If you open it straight to the center, it, it as you can see, it, it lays pretty well <laughs> like this. Um, but as we flip, I have to obviously hold pages, and I'll show you a little solution that I have for being able to write in it in just a moment as we go. Um, but the front cover, inside cover here is a, um, the back part is covered with burlap. A little side pocket with some collaging on it. Um, there's a little picture of a squirrel. I'm going to try not to, or that might be a chipmunk. Oh, chipmunk, I think. Sorry. I'm going to try not to sit in, on every picture on the backs. So there are places um, that you can write and journal on. And I do have a lot of blank paper in here that you can journal on. I'll try not to sit and every time I look at a picture say, oh, and there's journaling space on the back. I hope that y'all will all just know that there's plenty of journaling space in this book. I try to do this book with a lot of texture. You'll see that as we go. But um, it, I'm really getting into this whole mixed media thing, and I'm loving texture. There's some corrugated cardboard here with some fabric. And you'll see as we go, I have a lot of texture in this book, a lot of different styles of stitching, just randomness. Um, I like that. But also, I love collaging. I love glue pages. I say that in... Ooh, let me get centered here. Sorry. Oh, i got to pay attention to that. Y'all, y'all got to say something. Let me get off centered. <laughs> anyway, I, I love collaging. I, I love to leave lots of spaces for that. Um, 
but mostly with journaling, I like for people to have the opportunity to put all kind of stuff in a journal that can um, help them, you know, remind them of a, a particular time or a particular date night or something they did with their kids or going out in the garden and planning something, just whatever. Um, side pocket here with picture of mushrooms there. Um, oh, I said I wasn't going to pull all the paper out. I'm sorry. Okay, we won't do that anymore. Um, this is paper for journaling. I'm not going to sit and pull all the paper out. I said I wouldn't do that, and I did it. Okay, let's stop that, Tanya. All right, little key there. Charm with a ruffle, and I try to do just coordinating fabric ruffles. My husband says it had a country theme to it. I don't know. I just, to me, I was, I don't know what I was going for. I just went with whatever I liked. So that's that. Next page has a pocket. Oh, I do a lot of quotes. Um, I love quotes. I love, and this particular quote, in fact, to me, it it just sums up my whole thought process of journaling. Let's see if we can get it up there so you can see it. It says, keep a notebook, travel with it, eat with it, sleep with it, slap into it every stray thought that flutters up in your brain. Cheap paper is less pe perishable than gray matter, and lead pencil markings endure longer than memory. That's Jack London. Don't know Jack London, but cool quote. <laughs> That's collaging here on the back. A little bit of writing space there. A library cataloging card. Uh, let's see. Complete works. Random House, 1935. I don't know. This is a, a little book I made with some paper in it. And just a tab pull on the top so that pull it out of that pocket. Oh, over here is a little tuck spot. Not there. Like a picture, movie tickets, or something in that. This is collaging here on the outer part of an envelope. It flips open. Again, I went with the whole texture thing. There's a little sticker off of, I think, some fabric or something. Um, and a flower with ribbon, and those are some pressed leaves on top of paper. Um, a little bit of rope right here with some paper. A lot of, lot of writing space in here. This is some collaging on top of music paper. This is some um, water painting, watercolors. It's been years since I've painted, so I, I actually pulled out my old watercolors and gave it a go on top of some music paper. Original artwork here. Nobody else has this. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, some graph paper map. Again, this is all perfect for um, obviously journaling on, but also attaching some photographs or just taping on some some tickets or pictures or receipts or just, you know, what whatever. Um, writing down your own little favorite quotes and just tape them on here. Um, I put lots of paper in here. This actually does come out. This is a picture. Obviously, I already told y'all, writing space on the back. Gotta stop doing that. Um, just a little pocket. I, I stuck this little rendition of a miniature library card in there that went with it. Um, but obviously you can use that to tuck a picture in. Dictionary page. Okay, this is what I was talking about earlier where I said I, I kind of um, tried to put something in here that helps with writing. Um, this is a little hard board. It's like thick chipboard. And you can put it behind your paper to write on. You can use it like a to bear down on. Because when you're dealing with a book like this that's this chunky and by the time you put all your little stuff in here for um, memories and whatnot, it just it, it adds bulkiness and it's hard to write. So this is just a little board that you can use to bear down on. Am I still in frame? Jeez, y'all, this book's so big and my camera, I, I've got it as far out as I can go. Um, anyway, that's for bearing down on. Little ruler on the side in case you're, in case you need a ruler. I don't know what you need a ruler for. Maybe to measure for a picture to see if it'll fit in a spot or whatever. There's a little ruler. On the back side, there's three index cards taped, and this top little tab holds the top one into place, and then the other ones will flip up. But as long as that top one's down, they, they can't move. Okay, where did this go? Back in here. A little burlap tab with a little pink thingy on it, whatever that thingy's called. <laughs> Okay, more paper. I hear somebody in there getting drinks. Okay, butterflies there. Adorable little girl 
<laughs> yeah, I hear my husband in there getting something to drink. I imagine our food is about ready. It's a beautiful day here. I'm in Georgia. Um, big, big, and um, I call them index cards, but this is bigger than your old average index card. It's a big one. I got a lot of these in here in a little lace tab on top. And paper. This is a little pocket here with a picture of mushrooms and a picture of flowers. Look, I didn't tell y'all there was journaling space on back. I'm doing good. Okay, here is another pocket. Paper, picture of a deer, and picture of a flower. Oh, charm here. Have I missed any charms? I think I've shown y'all the charms so far. Let's see. Another key. Can you see it? Well, y'all just tell me if you can't see it. Oh, clunking things. Y'all, this is my favorite spread in the whole book, I think. I don't know. I think it is. You can see the material between the signatures, and it is kind of just a... It's not one of the materials that I used on the cover, so it's just it's coordinating but different. And I collaged the back of this page with fabric with the strips of fabric. Look how cute that doggy is. Okay, so, stay on track, Tanya. This side, this one pulls out um, like this, journaling space, <laughs> and a little ticket. The ticket's just to kind of demonstrate to whoever gets the journal, you know, ideas of what you can put in these little pockets. You can put your movie tickets in there. A um, little piece of fabric. For the texture, but you can also use it to run a little pin through with um, a little safety pin with some beads on it or to pin something in here that's memories. Um, this over here has, yay, look at the cute postcard with the doggy. And then this pulls out, beautiful little piece of fabric, and it opens up. Voila, I want to nick the booksmiths. Uh oh, I'm throwing it. Okay, one of Nick the Booksmith's little miniature books. Can't read that. I have to wear reading glasses to read that. So this is a perfect time for me to demonstrate the free gift. Whoever purchases this book, this is going to be the little gift that I send with the book. I have a little place back here that I put it, but this is the gift. Oh, it's so pretty. Look. This is a necklace. What? Very pretty, but here's the cool thing. Okay, so it the pendant on it opens up into a little magnifying glass. So I still wouldn't be able to read the book, but I don't know if you can see on camera, but it is an actual magnifying glass. I thought that was so pretty. And that is going to be my little thank you gift to whoever adopts this journal okay let me hurry y'all this is 240 pages and i'm going way too slow and i'm getting hungry so let's get this done okay all right we've done that okay so over here's a little envelope that's done up as a little tuck area journaling paper bookmark The envelope has um, the little fabric on there with a wooden button and some rope trim. Flip it open, and there's a little card that's blank. There we go. Let's go faster. I'm smelling the hamburgers. Some cards here. Look, another original piece of artwork by Tanya. Am I in frame? Jeez, man. Okay. Voila. Look at there. Some pretty paper. This is a little, um, this is where I was telling y'all I sewed some of the pages together. This is, uh, I sewed this little end of the music paper and put a little piece of ribbon along the, along it. Along it. <laughs> along it. <laughs> um, and in the pocket, here is a little, look at there, little bunny rabbit running away from us. And it's an envelope. Inside of the envelope is a homemade booklet. 
Let us see, I collaged it. Let me try to show you that. Okay, put the bunny rabbit up, little tags. Oh, and I always try to put this in, a, in my journals because it's, we're all, this is old school, but this is somewhere you can write some, your friends' names and addresses and phone numbers because we keep all that stored on our phones now and we usually can't remember it. But what happens if your battery dies? Sure. Okay, anyway, the back of this pocket is a piece of fabric. This fabric I bought back in the 80s. Um, I was going to cover something, I think kitchen chairs or something, and never did. And I've held on to it all this time, so now it is so vintage. <laughs> That's, I'm partially joking, I guess. But I don't know, 80s, I guess, is kind of old. Okay. Oh, I had this turned this way, sorry. Okay. Get it together. All right. This is Matilda's Dream Library card. <laughs> How cute is that? And let's see if I can hold this up so you can see this. It's so precious. I love this. It says, every great dream begins with a dreamer. How cute is that? Little bag here. Inside of this is a card with a tab on it. Little writing space, a little piece of colorful trim on that paper. This is a flip up with some writing space there. And I did sew the pages on, but then I attached all of this to this paper with glue and tape so that it wouldn't put stitch marks on this side. Although you can always put pictures or whatever to cover that up, but there are no stitch marks there. Oh, I love this. Um, this is, I call it a sack pocket. It, it's done like a sack, oh, I'm pulling it too hard. Make sure I reattach that better. It has a paper in there. Turn it over, it's got the cool fold marks. It actually does expand out real far. You can put stuff in there. On this side, it has a piece of paper and a picture of a squirrel. A little tab on the top with some fabric. Let's see what see if you can see this quote. Let's see. Let's see if you can see it all real good. Okay. It says logic will get you from A to B. Imagination will take you everywhere. Albert Einstein. Myself. Oh, here's a charm. Here's a ruffle with a charm on it. It says she believed she could. Oh, I'm not in. <laughs> well, take my word for it. It says she believed she could, so she did. Okay. There we go. All right. Flip that page. This is a pocket. Journaling paper. There's very light, faint lines on here. And some. Get in there. Come on. Holding it the wrong angle, Tanya. Okay. A little bit mark. Lines on back. And then tickets. Free the people. <laughs> I don't know some of these songs I've never heard of before. They're kind of humorous to sit and read the words. There's one somewhere, I think it's coming up. I'll be sure to point that out. Um, little envelope inside of this bag. And paper. Faint lines on that. Okay, gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Believe it or not, this is my second time attempting to video this. I did a partial video and sneezed through the whole thing, so... <laughs> And I don't sneeze delicately. This paper has bird feathers on it. We love our birds. We have a lot of um, red birds, a lot of cardinals here. Um, we feed our birds every day. Well, we feed the squirrels, I think, but the birds get it too. The squirrels are just little rascals. They come and steal it all. But um, I put feathers on here. I love the texture of being able to feel them. Um, but on this side, more feathers. 
the person who gets this can always rub, you know, take these off. Um, they're attached pretty well. Or if you want to leave them on, you can even cover them with some, um, some clear, what's the stuff I'm trying to think of? Um, the clear, oh, I've got it on the other page in a minute. You'll see what I'm talking about. But anyway, you can cover it, um, just glue down some clear plastic over that to protect the feathers if you want to keep them and don't want them to rub away. They will start to rub away over time, their feathers. Um, okay, little flower tab here. So pretty, it's three layers. Different kind of mismatched theme going there. Story of my life. Beautiful center page there. Pretty butterflies. Ooh, I hear guys hollering. Oh, another bookmark. I don't know if I pointed out the first bookmark. First bookmark's here. Pink one, see it? Woohoo. Okay, this one's a striped one. This is a little, eh, pretty. Dried flowers. Oh, y'all, this is, um, I, I don't know how to say all these words. Nemophilia is a genius of ornamental herbs and plants of the lily family, usually bearing white or blue bell-shaped flowers. My favorite part is where it says nemophilus, a hoarder of the wood. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Easy for you to say. Nemophilist, a hoarder of the woods, one who loves the forest and its beauty and solitude. This is the other place. See the, I guess it's cellophane was the word I was trying to think of. These are little seeds for a hummingbird vine, a dried flower that I covered with cellophane. And this is dried rosebuds. I didn't cover this because it wasn't coming apart. But the person who gets this may want to cover that or take it off. A little pocket here with some more cards in it bag I should say page 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 a little pocket paper and a postcard ruffle and again you can see between the signatures this has toady frogs look at there I thought that went so well with the little toadstools. And then the rest of this page, somebody could always collage on top of, glue more stuff. I didn't. Um, let's see, here's a little envelope I can kind of show you. But you can like collage all over this. Get some paper and just collage the whole page. I personally kind of like the to toadstools showing behind the toads. Okay, this side has a pocket. This all pulls out picture here how pretty and vibrant is that thought that was beautiful bird and a squirrel squirrel my dogs go crazy when they hear us say that like literally they go crazy they're not in the house right now they're outside with the grill master but if they were they would probably start barking just when I said the word squirrel okay all right there we go um, more paper oh this is cool too the whole world is a series of miracles, but we are so used to them, we call them ordinary things. Hans Christian Andersen. Love that quote. Okay, this has a tab with dried flowers in it. Um, it says, she always had to stop for roadside poppies. And back here, we just have a little picture of um, a poppy. <laughs> Go figure. Okay. That goes in there. And actually, this is the, this bag spreads out so, so large that this is where I was keeping that little free gift that I'm going to give with the journal. This is different fabric. A lot of this was used on the cover. I don't think all of it was, but some of it was, just for the texture. All right, I did this little center fold with some pictures. What? Okay. Um, the pictures, my, my thought process was, um, I put little corner tabs here. You can always change this out, glue over them, or put a picture of your own cho choosing in there, or you can even flip this around and use it as the backdrop to uh, another picture. There we go. Same with these. All right, and this is a pocket. Picture in there. A little belly band done out of sequins. Really pretty. Oh, and the little girl floating in the cloud over there. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Page, page, page. Little tab there. All right, and this pocket here. I uh, got this idea from Sherry with Turquoise Dreaming. If y'all haven't checked out her channel, she has some really cool ideas. Um, and she had this idea, so I went over and watched her tutorial on this. So this is a key with a little um, tag with it. Like that. Pretty close to hers. I think she uses a receipt paper on hers. And I use ledger. I just use what I had. You can barely see it, but it does have a little lace on it. She does a tutorial on that, turquoise dreaming. And this is a big envelope here. Inside of it is just the big index card. So I think there's two of them in there. I did do an expandable pocket here with some fabric and some decorative stitching. In the quote, I'm gonna pick this up. It says, "Get it straight. Whether I shall turn out to be the hero of my own life, or whether that station will be held by anybody else, these pages must show." Charles Dickens. This is done banner style, so it has a rope that runs up through it, raises up, and this is. I always put these in my books. I try to. Um, just a place to slide a pen or pencil to use for writing. Then it's a stationery, the picture, and the card. Texture. And then this is a flip. Ta -da. What? Okay. This uh, magazine that I have scattered throughout here is an old magazine from the American Magazine for June of 1931. Got some real, I sat and read that because my grandmother was born in 1928. She is still alive. And I sit and read this, and I think, wow, she was like three years old then. And I wonder if her mother read this magazine. It's just neat to think about. This has um, two of the little graft cards in it. Oh, I'm sorry. It has a picture in it. There we go. Oh, that has graft cards. A lot of little pockets in this, this little baby. All right. This is one of the over-the-top There, pretty flowers. Okay, I hear plates rattling. I gotta hurry. This is just a little various types of paper with a little rosette on the front. Oh, and there's some um, cheesecloth there, a little piece of fabric, corrugated paper, and it just all slides into here. This is awkward. There we go. A pocket with paper, ticket, picture. Can I show you the quote? Forget not that the earth delights to feel your feet, to feel your bare feet. And the winds long to play with your hair. And I cannot pronounce that person's name. Khalil Gibran. <laughs> I think I did pretty good. There is a little charm of a butterfly. And this is the last page, guys. I love this page. It's got a little postcard with a little poochie on there. And inside of it are some pictures. Some books. Some insects. 
and this is all attached to a piece of that fabric with a belly band here. It's actually a double belly band and one of the big cards here behind it. Okay, and the back cover has the um, ruffle going down the side. Take it from the back and you can see the ruffle. And then the side pocket has the journaling paper and some, <laughs> some funny beetles and some birdies. All right, Ooh, the camera. And now that completes the flip through. Thanks so much for watching, and um, I will be getting this listed on my Etsy. I probably will get the video posted to YouTube before I get the Etsy listing done. Um, but please do check it out, and um, thanks so much for watching. Y'all have a blessed day.